So here's a little video for some examples from section 9.6. Had some questions on it, so let's go over a few of these. Number 14 uh, looks like this. We've got a company that uh, has a price of their product is at 60 bucks, and they found out that they can sell 180 items of it at this price. And then for every dollar that they raise the price, for every dollar that they increase the price, the number sold decreases by $2. We want to find the maximum revenue. All right. So um, here's a situation. So we know that revenue is equal to the price times the quantity sold. So you sell more at a certain price, you'll make more. If you raise the price, you'll uh, you'll make more if you sell the same quantity. So uh, here's what we have. We, we, we know that the price can change and the quantity is affected by the price. So let's make a function for quantity because it is affected by the price. And we'll call this function Q of P and we'll let the price be P. So P represents price here. And so what's going on here? Well, we know that at $60, we sell 180, all right? So 180 is kind of our starting point, all right? And then we got to figure out how many, uh, we got to figure out how many um, we are, how much we're going to raise the price over 60, all right? We'll assume that we're not going under 60, all right? And so we got to, we're going to, this quantity will be decreased by two for every dollar that's over $60. So we're going to take our price, whatever price you pick, $75, let's say. And we need to subtract 60. So what will that tell us? This tells us how much over, over um, $60 we are. So if you put 75 in here, for example, you'd be $15 over. And we know that two times whatever that is, is uh, how many fewer items we'll sell. So if P is 60, 60 minus 60 is 0. This becomes 0 times 2 which is zero, and we get 180 minus zero. If this is 75, we get uh, 75 minus 60, which is 15, times two is 30, 180 minus 30 gives us 150. So if you, if you put 75 in, you get that. So, all right, so we have a situation there for the quantity. So let's go ahead and take that and let's make a revenue function, revenue, is a function of price. So this is function notation. And so this means revenue, uh, price goes in and revenue is what we come out. All right, that's not R times P, that's a function R of P. And so we're gonna take price times quantity. Well, our price is just P. Our quantity is in parentheses 180 minus, uh, actually, you know what, Let me, let's come back here real quick. All right, let me simplify this. That'd be easier to work with. Take negative two, distribute negative two there. We got 180 minus 2p plus 120, and that equals 300 minus 2p. All right, so there's our function for quantity. Just simplify it. Just makes things a little less confusing here, all right? So we're gonna plug in uh, 300 minus 2p. All right, 300 minus 2p. And we can distribute to clean that up if we want. That's 300p minus 2p squared. Notice this is a quadratic function. So we've got a quadratic function here. Notice it's p squared. All right, that's like x squared because p is our, our independent variable. And it's negative, all right? You could also write this as negative 2p squared plus 300p. So our leading coefficient is negative. This is the leading coefficient. So if we were to graph this, what you should expect is an upside-down parabola. 
and that means we have a vertex, and that vertex has a highest point. So for a certain price, we get the highest revenue. We want to find out what that is. So that's at the vertex. The maximum happens at the vertex. All right. So let's find the vertex. Well, where does the vertex happen? Uh, the vertex happens at x equals negative b over 2a, or in this case, p equals, because p is like our x value, negative 300 over 2 times a, which is negative 2, which is 300 over 4, which is 75. So when the price is 75, I just happened to randomly pick that when we were doing an example. I had no idea it was coming out to be this. But at 75, we're going to get a maximum revenue. What is that revenue? So this is our, our, our price. Well, that revenue, that R of 75, is 300 times 75 minus 2 times 75 squared. And let's go ahead and get our calculator out here and try that out. So 300, oops. So 300 times 75 minus 2 times 75 squared. Looks like 11,000. Uh, all right, and it's $11,250. 11,250 dollars. All right, so. What does that mean? That means that the question is, what is the maximum revenue possible? Well, our maximum revenue was $11,250. And uh, what price will guarantee that? It was $75. All right, so that's how that problem works. hope that helps. Let's take a look at uh, some more now.